Hut, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Another Opa's Corner. Let's get started. A man stepped onto the overnight train and asked to speak to the conductor. Upon meeting him, the passenger told the conductor, I need you to wake me up in Philadelphia. I'm a deep sleeper, and I can be kind of grouchy when I get up, but no matter what, I want you to help me make that stop. Here's $100 to make sure. The conductor agreed, and they shook hands. The man fell asleep, and when he awoke, he heard the announcement that the train was approaching New York. Furious, he collared the conductor. I gave you a hundred dollars to make sure I got off the train in Philadelphia, you worthless fool. Wow, another passenger said to his traveling companion. Is that guy angry? Yeah, his companion replied. Still, not half as angry as the guy they forced off the train in Philadelphia. One day, a mechanical engineer, electrical engineer, chemical engineer, and computer engineer were driving down the street in the same car. All of a sudden, the car broke down. The mechanical engineer said, I think a rod broke. The chemical engineer said, The way it sputtered at the end, I don't think it's getting gas. The electrical engineer said, I think it was a spark and something is wrong with the electrical system. All three turned to the computer engineer and said, What do you think? The computer engineer said, I think we should all get out and get back in. As Chester left the pottery class, he desperately gave himself a personal PSA pat-down. He was looking for his keys. They were not in his pockets. A quick search in the meeting room revealed nothing. Suddenly, he realized that he must have left them in the car. Frantically, he headed for the parking lot. Chester's wife, Sally, had scolded him many times for leaving the keys in the ignition. Chester's theory is that the ignition is the best place not to lose them. Sally's theory is that the car will be stolen. As Chester burst through the doors, he came to a terrifying conclusion. Sally's theory was right. The parking lot was empty. He immediately called the police. He gave them his location, confessing that he had left the keys in the car and that it had been stolen. Then Chester made the most difficult call of all. Honey, uh, I left the keys in the car and it has been stolen. There was a period of silence. Chester thought the call had been dropped, but then he heard Sally's voice. Chester? I dropped you off. Now it was time to be silent. Embarrassed, he said, Well, uh, come get me. I will, just as soon as I convince this cop to take off the handcuffs. I was going to tell a time-traveling joke but you guys didn't like it. I used to run a dating service for chickens, but I was struggling to make hens meet. What does a pig put on dry skin? Oinkment. Why do we tell actors to break a leg? Well, 
because every play has a cast. My wife told me to stop acting like a flamingo, so I had to put my foot down. What did the left eye say to the right eye? Between you and me, something smells. I'm so good at sleeping, I can do it with my eyes closed. How much money does a pirate pay for corn? A buccaneer! What is the stinkiest planet? Poopiter! What's the difference between a hippo and a zippo? One's pretty heavy, and the other's a little lighter. Did you hear the one about the roof? Uh, never mind, it's over your head. Oh boy, oh boy, now it's time for the funnies! Take your time, Mr. Groundhog. I hope Google Translate worked. Homo sapiens, cease serving dry substance. Eddie, P.S. Your footgear now has vomit. Stop doing that! This thing is just for decoration. You sharpen your claws on the curtains. This isn't going to be easy, but we'll start looking. Fish tank. Woo-wee! This thing's been here a long time. Well, thank God for ketchup. They're claiming their spots on the new mattress. For the last time, Mr. Perkins, did you or did you not emit a particularly foul odor in front of dinner guests and then attempt to pin the blame on my client? And may I remind you, sir, you are still under oath. Lewis, phone call. Whose broad idea was it to place the ark animals alphabetically? Ants, anteaters. Thank the sun god you're here. We're infested with papyrus wasps. Garouk Brothers. Psychiatrist, please check your tin foil hat at the door. This is a Boeing jet. Should both loosen, wrenches will fall from the overhead compartment. I just took a DNA test. 
learned that my ancestors are from Frankfurt. Mine are from Poland. Italy. Vienna. Ancestry. Wait, we're not royalty? Pretty cool, Dewey. Hey, shake the jar and see if they'll fight. Chicken tenders. Be gentle with yourself. It's okay. You matter. He acts all cool and feral until the can of food comes out. Things are going to be so much nicer now that we've had Fluffy declawed. By age 47, it became clear that Lester and his parents had distinctly different ideas on what it meant to grow up and become a successful engineer. New guy, huh? Well, up here, you walk the edge. And the edge is a fickled hellcat. Love her, but never trust her. For her heart is full of lie. Consolidated Lie Company. Flintstones, eat the Flintstones. The Swedish attack was less successful. Ikea. Obi-Wan Cannoli. Teach me, Ben. Teach me the Jedi pie trick. Use the fork, Luke. It's a tad I got when I was on the inside. Mom, I told you to drop me off a block away. Mom! <laughs> Sing dead is so uncool. Now we refer to it as being uploaded to the cloud. Centipede Buddies I-50! Got any ideas for a band name? Hey, Charlie. Looks like you're going to have some friends over tonight. And that concludes another Opa's Corner. My hut, der hat drei Ecken. Drei Ecken hat mein Hut. Und hat er nicht drei Ecken, dann ist es nicht mein Hut. Opa's Corner is now available on my own YouTube channel. Like, share, and subscribe.